Our communities are still coming to terms with the tragic events in Bristol near my home city of Leeds. Tensions are still high, with a generation-defining vote just two days away. But events of the past week have made it even more important to speak out about the way in which the debate has developed. No one can deny that there are arguments both for and against being part of Europe. And there are even different views in this hall, all deeply held, all respected, because they come from a place of deep conviction. But Nigel Farage, Nigel Farage and his ilk have been nothing less than a disgrace. Cries and lies. <laughs> cries and lies, smears and fears, rabid xenophobia, a noxious brew of the anti-foreigner, anti-immigrant sentiment staining our communities. Ideas that were once limited to the sewer of the far-right fringe, now unleashed into the mainstream. Dark and ugly politics. And people who come to this country for a better life, to work hard, to bring up families in the right way, are being attacked every single day as part of this referendum. So I have a message for Nigel Farage from this conference. If you pour poison into our communities, if you set worker against worker, if you divide neighbours and even families, I promise you this, on behalf of this conference, we will take you on. And that is why last week, when Nigel Farage unveiled his vile racist poster that looked for all the world like Nazi propaganda on behalf of this union, I had no hesitation in reporting him to the police and asking them to instigate an investigation into his racism.